all right guys so this is my initial review for the android 12 beta 2 and as you can see uh, i have booted it thanks to isan and flame for being so fast making the gsf from lz y tool and yeah here we have android 12 beta 2 for our redmi note 7 the default kernel is predator stormbreaker x4.7 es old cam you can flash any other custom kernel if you have any animation lags that i've said so now as you can see the new panel it will be like this by default but you can enable the system ui gx for more net theming and etc now there are some small changes i saw in the beta 2 as for example you can see this the brightness icon literally changes uh, per, uh, with per action and there is uh, your other um, quick queue styles another thing i saw is we don't get the uh, sim network icon in the status bar yeah if you turn off if you go into network and select uh, Airtel as your I mean select your network then it would show but if you go into Wi-Fi then it would just vanish from there as you can see yeah another new things where like go into settings and as you can see this is your usual Android S settings there is a quick tap which won't work for our device probably I haven't tested but let me test okay take a screenshot and double tap okay I, I knew it it's kernel side probably but there's an app called tap tap in xda you can search for that it works for our redmi note 7 i have tested myself then swipe up for notifications not gonna try system navigation uh, one-handed mode power menu yeah now the keyboard might be very large by default so you go into settings preferences keyboards height and keep it extra short don't keep it normal it would be too too high for your preference probably for me it is too high by default so i kept it extra short now apart from that there's no more big changes there is slight changes in, in battery view battery percentage you can see now it doesn't show from now it doesn't show the usage from last charge instead it shows from uh, it shows battery level for past 24 hour this is really helpful and there you can see battery percentage keep it off I, i'll keep it off now there's nothing much newer to be honest there is your usual volume slider and there is the new widget animations now the uh, if you go into if you click on the widget and go back you saw this is neat so i saw uh, slight uh, ios animations see not bad but yeah tolerable then there's your now you might ask if any gcam works so yeah if yes gcam works this one this is the dmgc version as you can see dmgc version 5 it works pretty fine okay where is that yeah there is it works pretty fine now as i said if you face any animation lags do change the kernel and to any other and this is your new uh, beta 2 uh, quick settings panel i don't know google why i don't know what is google doing but meh we have to see we have to tolerate and here is your power menu options in from the quick settings i really like the uh, charging animation in this build i'll i won't be able to show it here so i'll give a uh, heads up screen record about that now there is not any bigger changes and about the bugs no there is not much of a bugs but you cannot expect a literally uh, stable build of this uh, for our Redmi Note 7 cause 
by officially it's beta it's in beta stage not even the source is stable of android and this is a sgsi sgsi so you cannot expect it to be a a literal perfect device but yeah it is quite daily, uh, daily driver material and you can give it a shot also i'm going to change the wallpaper to a different wall to show you the monet themings As you can see, the Monet theming changed the colors. It is pretty fine, but who knows what is Google doing? They keep changing things and they even redesigned the QS. But in white theme, light theme, the new QS looks awful. For example, if you go into display and turn off dark mode, see it is awful it's like google just splitted your display into in half like what is this google so yeah way to go dark theme where is it display dark theme ah yes that's pretty fine also there's this new thing called uh the recent will be now uh the recent for example uh, see this the gif is moving right so if you go into recents see the gif is still moving this is new to android 12 beta 2 and it's quite fun what is this free form ah they will present from android 9 9 10 maybe i don't know okay so that's pretty much it i guess for an initial review and a further review i might or might not do but yeah i'll share my thoughts on my telegram the group i share showed android appetite do join there's no members literally 37 members because i'm absent but yeah that's pretty much it and i'll put the gcam link and the rom link in the rom description and if also the support group of telegram in the description so do join them and i'll i'll hope you I'll hope to see you guys in the next video. Till then, peace. Alright guys, so to flash the Android 12 Vita 2 for your Redmi Note 7, you gotta need mm, these two files. One is Redfin SB2, uh, SPB2, this is the ROM file, as you can see, 1.95 GB. And other one is TWRP 3.4.0 Android S. Now, if you don't use SD card, which means if you don't have SD card present in your phone, you can skip it. You can use Orange Fox. But if you have SD card present in your phone, you gotta need this TWRP beforehand to flash uh, the Redfin and be able to do uh, other mods like flashing magic and etc. So let's quickly boot into recovery. Okay, so now that I have booted into recovery, we're gonna go and wipe Dalvika system vendor you don't need to wipe system vendor it your android is, is smart enough to auto remove them but yeah just wipe your usual partitions after that head over to flash and flash the rom okay so the rom has successfully flashed now i'm gonna flash my uh, modified TWRP since I I have SD card okay the zip gave me some error in flashing so I un un unpacked the chief and I'm gonna flash it as image as you can see it uh, so image flashed now I'm gonna go to format data and uh, type in yes let me see if I okay now we're gonna go to reboot to recovery 
let's see if it boots into recovery okay so the there is the booting screen and swipe to allow now we're gonna format data wounds from here as well no such device whatever now we're gonna reboot the system okay so currently the rom is booting and it booted up as you can see so here's your usual pixel 5 setup screen and i'm gonna go through the setup screen real quick all right so the rom has booted up